Greetings, tankers! My name is Adam Snellgrove, and welcome to Best Replays, your weekly dose of World of Tanks action condensed in the 10 hottest minutes on YouTube. Or so I'm told. Whatever the case, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell to never miss a video. And with that public service announcement out of the way, let's get straight into it. The first replay we bring you today is the one from Japami 3 in the BZ-75 on Mountain Pass. Who decided that the bridge is the place to be, really? All it takes is one impenetrable tank to ruin your early game. Like this one! With a minute and a half wasted, Japami finds themselves in a terrible position and with a faltering friendly team. So how does one turn this from a worst replays to a best replays feature? Well, by boosting the heck out of dodge, naturally. And then setting up the most optimistic ambush I've seen in a long time, together with our platoon mate, Heiki Biz. From what I can tell, the plan is for our BZ to act as bait, while the 121B in the rear remains hidden, sniping the enemies in the back. While the plan does sound plausible at first, this would require every one of the remaining 11 enemy tanks to blindly fall for this ruse. Surely that's a bit far-fetched. Surely. Has a T-10 finally figured out what's been hitting them? Figured out? Yes! Dealt with it? Yes! Needlessly thrown away their tank? Yes! Thus, Japami 3 is now facing the remaining two enemy tanks alone! This Conqueror proved to be mildly threatening. The question is, what has that M103 been doing all this time? And the answer would be nothing. All right, now we're down to one versus one with both tanks on a one shot. Now comment section, what will the M103 do? A, loop back towards the spawn. B, push up the hill and surprise the BZ. Or C, do nothing. And the answer is... Do nothing! With some repositioning, allows Japami a clean shot into its cupola. GG! A heroic game in which the enemy team did their utmost best to throw away a 10 tank lead in order for Japami 3 to get featured on best replays. Together with Heiki Biz, the two tankers dealt just shy of 17k damage and scored 12 kills in total. Numbers for which both of them shall receive 2000 gold and a best replay style. Well done! Our second replay of the day comes courtesy of the Cool 17. And just like in the first replay, we are sticking to tier 10 heavy tanks with a Rhinoceronte this time. With the opening play of the little alleyway on the 7-8 line. Having the perfect amount of cover for a hold down heavy tank. 
with this VZ-55 on reload and in a tough spot. But now that every other friendly tank realized the value of this position, Cool is happy to seek damage elsewhere. Now that we've dealt over 4,000 damage across half the map, it's time to deal with the other half. Unfortunately, the rest of the friendly team was not quite as successful in their intentions. And thus, Cool has five enemy tanks to face all alone. With those odds, the best play is to destroy each enemy as fast as possible in a one-on-one -on -one brawl before the others can arrive as backup. But that's easier said than done with this EBR-90. Oh, what a shot! Now, that is two of the most mobile enemy tanks taken out, leaving just an FV-4005 and two artillery pieces. Bye-bye, T-92. Now, if only the FV would go down as easy. Aha! Oh, and a desperation shot from the FV bounces as well. That was much easier than expected. Plus, we now know where the arty is based on the direction of that shell hitting our tank moments ago. There's the sixth sense going off. And there's the arty as well, helplessly awaiting its demise. GG. What a cool and calculated game by The Cool 17 claiming Kalabanos medal and making it look easy. Barely taking any damage while dishing out 8.5k and not making a single mistake. Now that's a game worthy of 2,500 gold and a best replay style if I ever saw one. Congratulations! And for the grand finale, we've got a tank so out of place, it might as well be a med kit in a tier 1 game. MVDT has had the misfortune of spawning on Himmelsdorf in their ISU-152. And immediately channeled said misfortune towards the CS-44. So while we might not be playing on a TD paradise such as Prokhorovka, MVDT still gets to do stuff like this. Ah, oh, look at that cute little tank flipping. No mercy. Huh, a Tiger P completely ignoring that what just removed half of its HP? Completely fine in my book. It's almost as if these enemy tanks are not showing the full respect an ISU-152 deserves. Uh 
Oh, now things are about to get feisty. Especially now that MVDT is the last friendly tank left standing. Fighting opponents with varying degrees of skill. Oof, taking out one of these will surely make the other one rush to destroy our hero. Here comes the KV-3. But our gun soaks up the shell and the enemy heavy is done for. Whoa, and another bounce. Despite MVDT somehow making it out alive with just four HE shells and a full HP Comet, this game seems impossible. Possible to win. Would that comet be? Huh? No way! What is this play by the comet? Cornering itself just in order to cap? Bang! GG! Well, that was an ending I could not predict. MVDT managed to bring the game back on merely 74 HP. And to that, a Kalabanos medal, 10 kills, and 8k damage on Himmelsdorf of all maps and you've got me impressed. So much so that we'll pronounce this replay to be the best of the week, awarding MVDT with 3,000 gold and our rare best replay style. Well done. And with that, the time allotted for our replays is over. However, this also means it's time for our screenshot contest. Yep, for those of you who missed it, we're rewarding your hottest screenshots taken. So without further ado, the winners are Game Beer, now, that's quite a name. Matej Citea Fighter showcasing us those all-important three stars on the barrel. And Cola 4 with this magnificent screenshot. Congratulations to all the winners, and for those that didn't make it, make sure to keep submitting your screenshots in our dedicated Discord channel. As for me, well, I'm Adam Snellgrove, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio!